Hey guys, welcome back to another Nightcore Store video. My name is Josh, and today we're gonna to be looking at our top four recommended lights for your everyday carry. So please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so that way you never miss an upload. And let's go ahead and check out these awesome everyday carry lights. And so first, to make sure that everyone's on the same page, EDC means everyday carry. And so ideally, an EDC light or an everyday carry light is going to be lightweight and compact so that way it doesn't impede but instead helps your everyday task. Ideally, it's going to have many modes so that way it's flexible and applicable throughout the day no matter where or how you're using it, but the UI needs to be intuitive so that way if you let someone else borrow your light, you're not gonna have to give them a full lecture on how to use it. Obviously, it should be pretty bright, however, that shouldn't hinder the performance and the practicality of it throughout the day. And lastly, before my recommendations, this is going to be a very brief overview of each of these lights, highlighting why I like them. However, they do have their own in-depth videos, which I will link in the description as well to the store, so that way you can check them out more. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and check out our first light. First up on our list is going to be the AMH12 Pro with a 3300 lumen output as well as a respectable 552 yard throw. This was the first ever light to have the UHI 40 LED and is indicative of what a modern night core light is. This is going to have a very fair asking price of $89.95. So then, what is going to make the MH12 Pro such an amazing everyday carry? Well, it is going to be very compact as it's a little bit under 5.5 inches long, and it's going to be pretty lightweight at 2.89 ounces. As well as that, it's going to have a titanium two-way clip that's going to have a clip channel that's going to be on either side, giving you four ways to carry, with the clip down, clip up on this side, and the clip down and the clip up on this side as well. The MH12 Pro is going to be very user friendly as well with its battery and output indicator lights that makes it pretty easy to see the status of your light while you're using it. And adding on top of that user friendliness, this is going to be USB-C rechargeable, which you can access through this rubber boot with the plastic shell on the back. The MH12 Pro is going to be very reliable and have a good variety of settings as it has a instant moonlight mode as well as a low, medium, high, and turbo. And as well as that, it's going to have three special modes in Beacon, SOS, and Strobe. As well as that, they're all gonna be looking great with the new UHI 40 LED, and it's going to have that very nice hybrid beam shape, so that way it's going to be flexible no matter what the situation. However, that's not to say that the MH12 Pro is without its drawbacks. First of all, it's going to be getting pretty hot pretty fast on its higher turbo output. As well as that, with the new UHI 40 LED, it's going to have a slightly green tint, especially on its lower outputs. And lastly, because of how new it is, there's not going to be a lot of compatible accessories out there on the market for this light. And now as for uses of the MH12 Pro, it's going to be great for just daily use as it's pretty compact and it's going to have a two-way clip as well as dual clip channels, making sure that you can carry it pretty much any way you want. As well as that, because of the bright outputs and very far range, it's going to be good for camping and hiking as well. And because there's a tactical mode, you can also probably get away with using it for a patrol or if you want to survey any piece of land as well. By the way, the MH12 Pro is going to be the epitome of a modern, affordable, dependable, and just very bright everyday carry flashlight. Next up on this list is going to be the EDC27 with a 3000 lumen turbo and a 240 yard range. This is going to have an OLED screen, USB-C rechargeable, and is probably one of the best performing slim flashlights of this body style on the market right now. The EDC27 is going to be the same value as the MH12 Pro coming in at $89.95 as well. Now, if you were to look up the definition of compact in the dictionary, you would find the definition of compact in the dictionary. However, right next to it might be a picture of the EDC27, as it's going to be a little bit less than 5.5 inches long, and you can tell this light is very slim, it's going to be around half an inch thick. From this dual array of LEDs, this is going to be outputting a floodlight and it's going to be having a decent range as well, which is very nice for an everyday carry. As well as that, it's going to be USB-C rechargeable through this port up here at the top. This OLED screen is also going to be pretty well thought out as it gives you lots of useful information and whenever you cycle through the modes on this light, you can see how many lumens you're outputting and your runtime. The EDC27 also puts its monstrous 3000 lumen output to work as it has an instant strobe using the mode button, which is a very nice self-defense element in this everyday carry. 
However, the EDC27 is going to have a couple of downsides. First off, the UI is not going to be the most simple as it's going to be a two button, two stage UI, meaning that each one of these buttons have two stages and they do different things. And so it did take me a little bit to get the whole operation under my fingers. As well as that, this is going to have a non-removable battery. And as well as that, the clip is not going to be reversible. So if you were to try to put it on the brim of a hat, you are just going to be shining yourself in the eyes. And lastly, this is going to have a pretty quick step down and is going to be getting pretty hot down here at the LED array, as once you activate it on its turbo, it's going to show the 3000 lumens and then it's going to have this progress bar and once the progress is complete, it's going to step down. And then as for what I would suggest the EDC 274, I would say first uh, daily use as it's going to have access to a lot of good lighting modes and it's going to be very compact. As well as that, it's going to be bright enough to justify being a camping light or a hiking light. However, because of the run times, I would suggest maybe getting another light in addition to this. And lastly, I think this, this would be a very good gift for the women in your life as women's pockets are going to be infamously small and a little bit extra self-defense in the instant stroke feature is never a bad thing. Overall, the EDC27 is going to be an affordable, dependable, and just compact everyday carry flashlight, which is going to have a very nice UI in the OLED screen and the dual button tail switch. And for my research, it's going to be the brightest on the market with this form factor, and it's going to be able to last the longest on its higher outputs, meaning that it's really top of the line without having that top of the line price. Coming up third here is going to be the ever popular Teeny 2 keychain flashlight with a maximum output of 500 lumens, 5 brightness levels, an OLED display which it shares with the EDC27, USB-C recharging, and then 4 body styles in black, grey, titanium, and stainless steel, and a good price point at $39.95. So then, why do I think that the Teeny 2 would make a good EDC? Well, first off, it's going to be the most compact and most lightweight on this list, as it's going to be smaller than most modern day car fobs. But on top of that, this is going to be the most affordable, making it a great stocking stuffer, and it's still going to be very, very bright. The Teeny 2 also has this OLED display, which will display the run times and the outputs as you switch between them. And as well as that, it's going to have a very simple UI with a power button turning on and a mode button switching the mode. And like I said before, I can't help but mention again, this is going to be insanely bright for its size. It's going to have a 500 lumen output and by holding the mode button while it's off, you can access that 500 lumen turbo. And as you can tell, it can really light up any path that you're walking, especially at night. And while this light does not have a removable battery, it is going to be USB-C rechargeable through this little rubber boot right here. Now, as for some drawbacks, depending on how much you use it, you're going to have to recharge it kind of often because of the small battery, because of obviously the small size of this flashlight, but it is going to have decent run times considering the size of this overall light. And while there is an abundance of lighting settings, there's not going to be any special modes like SOS, beacon, or strobe. And so that would have been nice for me. However, the operation is clean enough and more modes may have, you know, muddied that up. And so if that's a drawback is kind of up to you. I really think that you can use the Teeny 2 for just about anything you want to. If you're in a dark restaurant and you can't really see the menu well, and you need just a little bit of extra light, this is a pretty discreet way to do it. And as well as that, with 500 lumens, it can be a pretty dependable walking light, especially if it's pitch black outside, that 500 lumens is going to go very far. And as well as that, anywhere that you just need a little bit extra light, this is going to be super handy and super compact on your keychain. And last but not least, we are going to be looking at the MT2A Pro, which is really in a league of its own. Despite it being super compact, the diameter is only a hair over half an inch, it is going to have a maximum brightness of 1000 lumens with a 279 yard range, and as well as that, it's going to be coming with an included lithium ion battery, however it is also compatible with AA batteries, and it is going to have a very fair price point at $44.95. Now, the MT2A Pro, why am I recommending this? Well, it's going to be a very compact pin light. As you can tell, it fits in my hands like an actual pin, and it feels almost like the middle ground between the compactness and simple operation of the Teeny 2, and then the very bright outputs and a little bit bulkier size of the EDC27. The MT2A Pro is going to have very nice outputs and pretty good run times as well, all thanks to the UHI 20 LED, and it's going to be AA compatible, however it does come include with a lithium ion cell, and considering the price, it's going to be a very good deal. 
This comes included with a two-way clip that's going to be crafted out of titanium, which is always nice to have. However, there is going to be only one clip channel back here at the end of the body. The UI is also going to be very simple, as you can say in pretty much one sentence to somebody. Full press to turn the light on, and then half press to cycle the brightness. And as for some potential drawbacks of this light, back here at the tail switch, it might feel a little bit cramped because of that very small diameter. And although there is very nice lighting settings, there aren't going to be any special modes like SOS or beacon or strobe. However, because of the simple UI, it's only going to be a two-stage UI. I think I'm gonna be okay with it because I don't want to cycle through SOS or beacon to get to a different lighting output. But I mean, this light is going to be pretty simple, so it's kind of hard to complain about a lot. As for some uses for the MT Two-Way Pro, I first think you can use it as a work light as it will comfortably fit in a toolbox. You can fit it in a shirt pocket, you can pencil grip it, you can uh, put it on your hat brim and it'll light up anywhere that you're looking. As well as that, you can put this in a car, it'll fit perfectly in a glove box or a center console and it'll be great if you need a little bit of light to see where you dropped your phone or anything like that. And lastly, just as an EDC as this list implies, it's super compact. Like I said, that diameter is going to be only a hair over half an inch in diameter. So you can just slip in your back pocket and forget about it until you do need it. And because of that hybrid beam shape and three lighting modes, it's going to be pretty flexible for whatever you need it for. And also similar to the EDC 27, I looked up other lights with this form factor that are also powered off of double A's and I couldn't really find an equal to this light that have the same uh, outputs, run times, or throw as this light. And so it's really cool that Nightcore is able to put out so many top of the line flashlights while still keeping them pretty affordable. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed and that you feel prepared to make an informed purchase decision. I wanna encourage y'all again to like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.